The Liars of the Land is an upcoming film that's actually been drafted and crafted by me. The Liars of the Land takes people on a journey through the liars and what their lives are like. The Liars Club is not exactly the same film, but it's kind of a new concept, you see. There are people in Catholic communities that are teaching their children to lie as if it's right to do. The problem is, even though in the Ten Commandments in both the Catholic and Christian Bible, it doesn't say that lies are bad. What it does say is that the Lord is the Lord of all things. But when a human being tries to lord over someone's life, body, rights, soul, heart, or mind, they have been an abomination to that Lord. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of God. The truth of God is written in the word of the Bible, or in the Quran, or other works about the Lord. How you choose to live your faith is up to you is true. We have free will today. But when your free will harms another soul and you don't take responsibilities for that, you really are liable to the Lord. Liability to God is something most people don't think about. Liability is something that most people feel is odd, but it's totally truthful. When you lie in a record pretending you talk to someone, you are liable for that lie. And all they have to do is give you a truth serum or put you on a lie detector test, and you'll find that your lie will be detected at best. The lie you've told people is that I didn't have to tell people I was actually screwing around with someone while I was married. The lie you tell yourself is I don't have to require myself to take things seriously with someone who's interested in me. The lie you tell yourself is I can just walk away from this relationship and God will be perfectly fine with it. The lie you tell yourself is I can turn someone on to the Lord and then walk away in the liar's guild. You see, the lie we tell ourselves is that I'm in control of you when I'm with you, and that's not true. But the lie you have told yourself is that you're not liable for everything you say and do. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about God. And whether you're Christian, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Catholic, it doesn't matter. What matters is what you do in this world. And when you lie about your rights to take something precious from a girl and refuse to marry her, that's on you. When you lie about your rights to flirt with a man's heart, mind, and soul, and then walk away for some player, that's on you. When you interfere with a man's life and his marriage, and you refuse to talk about that in person, that's on you. When you destroy a person's medical rights in your lie of taking them out of your clothes, that is actually a form of sexual assault, sexual abuse, and practically and possibly rape. And that lie is not only before the Lord, that liability is in this world today. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about your own lie. Sometimes we have these ideas that we should give a confession or we should tell our testimony. Your testimony only matters to people who care about you. Your testimony only matters to people who want to be around you. But your care of other people is visible to other people. And when you lie to those people saying, oh, I talked to him, everything's fine, or I talked to him and he's a psychopath, that is a lie you've told yourself. Because maybe you didn't actually talk to them. Maybe you just took a car and drove into the town and drove around and then lied about what you were doing there. You see, your lie is thinking you have rights to someone else's life and you don't have any rights to anyone's life. You see, we earn our way into people's lives. But when we steal ourselves away from that relationship, when we taint the relationship with our own lies of what they allegedly did to you, you've told the lie in front of the Lord that makes you liable. And what the Lord can do is put you in front of marvelous people who you think are just right for you, and then they'll start to monkey with you. And when they start to monkey with you, you won't even be aware of it because you're so convinced of the lie that you're telling yourself of who you should be with and how you should play and what you should do that your lie catches up to you. The lie about you is not only the lie about you, but the lie about you is what you tell yourself about your rights in other people's lives. But when you turn the head of a man whose heart is actually turned, whose soul is actually churning for you, you better believe you are liable to the Lord for that today.